Canadians are proud of their healthcare system, but is it really universal? Public health care funds are primarily used to pay for illness management. In Ontario, up to 87% of spending is once someone is already sick. This primarily includes hospitals, physicians, and publicly funded drugs. Only 2.31% of expenditures are for population and public health, meant to reduce the risk of disease and improve the health of the population, which, if truly prioritized, would reduce the need for all that illness care. But what actually contributes to an individual's health? This diagram illustrates that less than 25% of a person's well-being is due to the contribution of what we call healthcare. Public health spending, that measly 2.3%, is meant to affect the 60% of health that is due to social, economic, and environmental factors. Here's another way of looking at the relationship between these elements. This has been referred to as the ecological model of health. By directing our public funds predominantly to the delivery of illness care, we ignore the rest of these nested influences. And is our healthcare really free? About 30% of all healthcare spending in this country is paid for within the private sector, either out of pocket or through private insurance. This includes some drugs, but also access to healthcare providers with a strong evidence base for their value, such as chiropractors, psychologists, and naturopathic doctors. Most of these services are only accessible to those with secure jobs that provide extended benefits and sufficient disposable income. That is neither free nor universal. The public sector does not provide all the ingredients needed for good health. The consequence is an epidemic of non-communicable chronic disease exacerbated by the effects of climate destruction such as mass extinction and increasingly frequent and severe weather events. What is the solution? Water and Wood is a non-profit organization that promotes well-being through customized retreats and workshops designed with a naturopathic lens. Naturopathic medicine prioritizes prevention and health promotion and emphasizes the interconnected health of individuals, communities, and the broader environment. This framework aligns with an indigenous perspective of health, underscoring the need to decolonize our approach to health. It fundamentally integrates the deep responsibility that we all have to uphold the health of ourselves, others, and the planet. There is strong evidence for the benefit of both naturopathic medicine and group-based programs for both individual health outcomes and corporate productivity. We are interested in seeking market partners that are interested in investing in these benefits and who also sincerely value social and environmental responsibility. These partnerships will enable us to offer our expertise organizations that serve marginalized individuals and those that advocate for systemic change. Our ultimate ambition is to disrupt the health system, to shift from delivering illness care to an investment in truly universal and comprehensive model that emphasizes prevention, health promotion, and choice. We will only achieve this through incremental demonstration of outcome and advocacy by collaboratively identifying and assessing objective outcomes with our partners, we have the potential to demonstrate both effectiveness and cost benefit. Water and Wood is an incubator for activism, change, and revolution. Our ideal partners share these values. They understand the importance of investing in individual and community well-being. They want to enact an authentic sense of social and environmental stewardship to improve the health of the interconnected web of life on this planet. Won't you join us? Be an agent of radical, positive change.